So in this exercise, we're going to be using our feature line creation tools in order to sweep a curb around just a basic parking lot. So right now we're in the 01 curb assembly drawing that's located in your tutorials folder. And I just have some basic line work showcasing just a basic parking lot. I'm going to begin by creating some viewports. And the way to go about doing that is to type in viewports. And then select to vertical. So currently we have a plan view. Next, I'll go ahead and go into the right viewport and I'm going to switch the top down view to a southwest isometric view. And the reason why I do this is because when I actually create my feature lines at a particular elevation, I want to be able to see the difference from my polyline layout in relationship to the brand new feature line elevations. So we'll go ahead and go back into our left viewport and we'll establish our feature lines. So I'll go into my create design panel, click the drop down for feature lines, and I'm going to create feature lines from objects. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to select my yellow edge of pavement, then press enter. Then we get our create feature lines dialog box. I'm going to leave everything at its defaults with the exception of clearing out the erase existing entities option. And I'm going to check off assign elevations, then click OK. Now for an elevation, I'm just going to simply assign it an elevation of 100, then click OK. And now within our isometric view, you can see the difference in grade from the zero elevation that all of our layout line work is assigned to as opposed to the brand new feature line elevation. Next, I'll go into my top down view and I want to be able to create a low point within my parking lot. So the way that I can do that is select the feature line, then go into insert elevation point and we get all of these symbols. I'm going to type in mid for midpoint of my feature line right here and you can see what's happening in my isometric view. I click right here. I can specify an elevation within my command line. I'm going to specify an elevation of 98. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. I'll type in MID for the midpoint snap. Select that, type in 98. Then press enter to accept the changes. So there's, you can see that there's a slight slope that's being established within my feature line. So after that, what I'll do is I'll go over to this area and I want to assign an elevation to my existing edge of pavement. Even though we're not necessarily working with topo at this point, I just want to assign just a, a simple elevation to my existing edge of pavement. So I'll go through the same steps again. I'll go to feature line, create feature lines from objects. I'll select my existing edge of pavement, press enter. I'm going to leave everything at, at its defaults. Click OK. And for an elevation, I'm going to go for an elevation of 98. Real simple. Now let's see what our grades are for our existing edge of pavement. Let's check them out. Go to the elevation editor. And if we look at the grades, we see 98, but then all of a sudden it jumps back up to 100 and then back down to 98. Well, what's, what's happening? Well, if I close this out, What's happening is, is that our feature line is taking on the elevation of our parking lot feature line. It's taking on that elevation here and here, and then coming back down to 98. You can even see that with an elevation editor. If you select this elevation, if I move some of this stuff off to the side, it might be a little bit easier for you to see. 
and then select this, you can see a grayed out triangle, which means that it's taking on the elevation from another feature line. If we select this next one, you can see that happening here as well. Well, what if I want that entire feature line for my existing edge of pavement to be a consistent 98? Let's go ahead and try that. Go ahead and select the grade, hold down shift and select the last grade, go into the first one, first elevation, then type in 98. And then that will set the elevation of our parking lot curb return. So now we have a consistent grade within our existing edge of pavement. And it's tying into our parking lot very nicely. Let's go ahead and create our curb assembly. Go into your Create Design panel, then click on the Assembly drop-down, then Create Assembly. Now for the Create Assembly dialog box, we want to give it a name. We'll just call it Curb. For the assembly style, we'll keep that at its defaults. Code set style, leave that at its defaults, then click OK. Then we'll specify an assembly baseline location, which is somewhere out in space right here. And then type in TP for tool palette. We get a list of all of the tool palettes that come with a standard copy of Civil 3D. Go ahead and click on Basic, and then click on Basic Curb and Gutter. We'll zoom in and select this portion of our box. Next, we need to create our corridor. Now this corridor is going to wrap our curb assembly around our entire parking lot using our feature line as the baseline. So if we zoom out to our layout, go up into the Create Design panel, then click the Corridor drop-down and select Corridor. We'll select our feature line and we're going to give it a name. We're going to call it Parking Lot. Click OK. Next we're going to create a corridor. I'm just going to call it Curb. We'll leave everything at its defaults but make sure that your baseline type is set to feature line. We have our feature line set for our parking lot. Now we need to select an assembly. Click the drop down, then select curb. And everything else we're going to leave at its defaults. We're not going to set a target surface, but we will set a baseline and region parameters. So go ahead and click OK. Then in this dialog box, we're going to set all of our frequencies. And we're going to change our frequency along a curb because we don't want to have like all kinds of ridges along our curve. We're going to select by curvature, then the mid ordinate distance, we're going to specify 0.1. Then click OK. So it looks like Civil 3D created a corridor for us. However, our curb assembly looks like it's coming in backwards. So how do we solve that? Well, there's an easy fix for it. We just need to reverse our feature line. And the way that we can do that is to select our feature line. Well, right now it's just selecting our corridor. If I close this, type in properties, it looks like we only have our corridor selected. So I'll right click, select display order, then click send to back. So we can have access to our feature line. I'm gonna select my feature line, then go into edit geometry, and then there's a button right here that says to reverse. We're going to click that to reverse our feature line. And then our curb assembly is coming in in the proper orientation. And if we zoom out a bit, we can see there's a little bit of funkiness that's going on over here. And there's some funkiness going on over there. So the way that we fix that is we go into corridors and you see this yellow shield right click that and select rebuild all so everything is coming in very very nicely